So recently I was on eBay trying to pre-order some of the new Dynamite Beyblades when I stumbled across some Beyblade lots. And if you guys don't know what Beyblade lots are, they're basically listings of a mass quantity of Beyblades, usually by sellers who grew out of the hobby or whose children grew out of the hobby. They're just trying to make a quick buck off their old toys. So yeah, there are a lot of these lots on eBay and I wanted to see if these lots actually hold value or if they're a scam. So I bought one off eBay for around $80, including shipping. Uh, in the title, it might say $100 because I... I'm a bad person like that. Anyway, the lot came in today. Here it is. It's a giant brown box from Japan. And what we're going to do is it promised us 20 Beyblades. So we're going to calculate the value of all 20 Beyblades and see if we made our money's worth. So yeah, let's just get started. Where, how do I open this? Oh, there's a piece of tape right here. Boop. All right, let's see what we got. Bubble wrap. Cool. That's always a good start. And yeah, here we go. I think I see a Revive Phoenix in here. Okay, so this looks like mainly Chosy Beyblades, which isn't bad. I do like Chosy Beyblades. I guess we'll take it all one at a time. And it does look like it did promise me 20 Beyblades, but it also looks like there's some launchers and extra stuff included. So let's just go through the launchers first. Now, I'm actually surprised that there are even launchers included because in the eBay listing, it had no mention of launchers at all. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Here we have a clear L-string launcher, and I don't think this one was released with the Beyblade. I think this was a standalone release, and this thing goes for around $5. Also, if you're wondering where I'm getting these prices from, I'm looking at the sold prices on eBay. Now, of course, there's no concrete value on Beyblade items. Someone might overvalue a Beyblade item and pay way more than it's actually worth. Uh, so that's why some of these prices might seem a little bit crazy. There's just crazy people in this world. But as for the launcher, $5 for a functioning string launcher, even if it's used, I feel like that's a fair price. Next up, we have another string launcher. This time it's a red right string launcher. This one also goes for around $5. Then we have two LR Ripcord launchers, and I found a sold listing for $15. Someone sold their used LR Ripcord launcher for $15, which I think is absolutely absurd. Like, this thing is not worth $15, so I'm gonna say they're worth around $8 each. And I'm highballing that. Like, I would not pay $8 for these things. But I guess the red one does have some pretty cool stickers, and it does come with a grip, which is $5 as well. Then we have the long ripcord launcher that released with Revive Phoenix. Next, we have half of a metal grip. They only included half of it, so I can't really even put a value on it, so zero dollars. And finally, they included three proto launchers. And these things are below worthless. I will pay you to take my proto launchers. These things suck. And those were all the launcher accessories in the lot. And overall, I'm really happy. There is around like $28 of value in just the launchers alone, which is really good considering I wasn't even expecting to get launchers in this lot. I was just expecting the 20 Beyblades. So the fact that we made $28 in value of something I wasn't even expecting to get, I mean, th that's pretty cool. Next, we're on to the main course. I was promised 20 Beyblades. So let's see how much value we can get out of this mystery lot of 20 Beyblades. First off, we have an Emperor Fornius Zero Yard, the stock combo to Emperor Fornius. And this guy sold on eBay for around $14, which I was really surprised. Again, this isn't a Beyblade I pay $14 for, but it looks like someone on the internet really liked Emperor Fornius and they paid $14 for it. Next, we have a Xeno Excalibur 7 Guard, and back in the day, Xeno Excalibur was such a hype Beyblade. I mean, look how gorgeous this Beyblade is. I remember back in the day, people tried to sell Xeno Excalibur for $50 just because it was such a gorgeous hype Beyblade. Well, I guess it did come with a sword launcher, but still, $50 for a Xeno Excalibur, that's absolutely absurd. As for the combo 7 Guard, I mean, the parts aren't really that great. 7 released on Legend Spurgeon. It was a pretty good core disc back in the day, but now it's kind of outclassed and guard originally released on blast genius and guards just not that great either so yeah and although Zenix Excalibur sold for a lot back in the day now it's really only selling for five dollars so this is a five dollar Beyblade here we have another Xeno Excalibur, actually. We've got two Xeno Excaliburs. This time it's Xeno Excalibur 12 Unite. 
12, not that great of a disc, but Unite, look at this Unite. This Unite is gorgeous. I don't even care how much this thing is worth. The Unite is absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a Unite in this color scheme, and if you guys don't know, Unite is my favorite driver, so I'm really happy to add another one of these to my collection. I just think the silver looks really nice with the blue. Anyway, again, Zenu Excalibur usually goes for around $5, so this is, again, another $5 Beyblade. Next, we have two Archer Hercules stock combo, Archer Hercules 13 Eternal. These guys go for around $12 each. And yeah, Archer Hercules was just a powerhouse chosen Beyblade. If you look at the way the metal is distributed on the layer, it's all towards the outside of the Beyblade layer, which gives the Beyblade extreme rotational inertia, which means the Beyblade spins for a really long time in the stadium. Mix that with the Eternal Driver, which I think was probably the second best driver for just pure stamina. Of course, the best was probably the Bearing Driver, uh, but it was always like a toss up between who was the second best. It was like Revolve or Eternal. Honestly, I always preferred Eternal just because, I don't know, it was newer. But yeah, mix the best stamina layer with one of the best stamina drivers, you have like a really solid Beyblade. To the point where people like showed up at tournaments with just stop combo Archer Hercules and they made it into the finals. That's just how good this Beyblade was. But yeah, sorry, I went on a side tangent, but this thing's worth around $12 and we got two of them, which is really cool. Again, Archer Hercules, really good Beyblade. Next, we have a prize Beyblade. Here we have Quad Quetzalcoatl, and it comes with some interesting stickers. The combo on this thing is Infinity Edge, and the Infinity is a colored painted red Infinity, which is really cool. I think this released on uh, probably a three pack, I'm guessing. And the Edge Driver, I know where this Edge Driver came from. It came from some random booster on a single layer of Valkyrie. And yeah, overall, uh, I'm always happy to get more prize base in the collection, especially if it's the original colors for the prize pay. This thing is sadly only worth around $10. You'd think a prize pay would be worth more, but I guess people don't really like Quad Quetzalcoatl. Next up, we have Hell Salamander, another powerhouse Chozy Beyblade, which was really good in the competitive scene for a while. And yeah, it was basically just a better Fafner. It was a less than Beyblade, it was rounder than Fafner, and it had a whole lot more metal than Fafner. It came with the 12 disc, which was like, the 12 disc is the worst disc ever made. I don't know why they keep releasing it. They still release it to this day. I'm pretty sure like the newest Death Sather came with the 12 disc. Call of Death Sather came out a few months ago. They released it with the 12 disc. Like, I don't understand why. Anyway, it comes with the Operate Driver, which is really cool. I love the Operate Driver and how it jumps in the stadium. Now this Beyblade, goes for around $14, which is pretty good. Next, we have Revive Phoenix, the main antagonist of the Chozy series. This guy goes for around $10, which I was honestly kind of surprised considering all the other Chozy Beyblades went for around $14, $15. Revive Phoenix only goes for around $10, which... I don't know, I think that's kind of undervalued compared to the other ones at least, like it comes with some pretty cool parts, the 10 disc is pretty cool, but yeah, I mean, 10 bucks, I'm not gonna complain about that. The next Beyblade in the lot is a Bloody Longness, this guy goes for around $14, now it's a stock combo of course, so it's Bloody Longness 13 Jolt. Not really much to say about this Beyblade, I mean it's cool. <laughs> next, we're back to the dual layers, here we have a black. Victory Valkyrie. Oh my god, the Black Victory Valkyrie looks so cool. So here we have a Black Victory Valkyrie Triple Reboot, which is really cool because the Reboot Driver released on God Valkyrie, and now it's on Victory Valkyrie in this lot. I just think that's a really cool, like, evolution kind of thing in the bobber. Maybe that's just me. And it also comes with the Triple Disc, which is colored blue. Again, I think the colored discs usually come from uh, triple sets or three on three sets, so yeah, that's pretty cool. This guy goes for around eight bucks, and I'm always happy to have another Valkyrie in my collection, just because if you guys don't know, Victory Valkyrie is notorious for breaking. I think this Victory Valkyrie I have here is a third mold actually, so it won't be breaking. You can tell because the second mold has reinforcements in the wings, and the third mold has like a circular piece of plastic around the prongs. Next, we have Nova Neptune 8 Revolve, and this is a green Nova Neptune. I'm pretty sure this was released as a random layer collection, I'm guessing, or maybe it was a random booster, not really sure about that. Uh, overall, again, I'm really happy to have Nova Neptune in the collection just because it is a somewhat rare Beyblade to have. It originally released in a three on three set in the dual layer days, and the only other way to get it was through random boosters and through uh, random layer collections. So it's always nice to have one of those. And again, like I said before, Revolve is one of the best stamina type drivers in the game, so it's always good to have another stamina type driver like that. And the color scheme looks really cool. Like, I really like the green motif that's going on. It's a pretty cool Beyblade. Oh yeah, this thing goes for around 13 bucks. 
Next, we have an extremely rare Beyblade. I was so like shocked when I saw this in the mystery lot. Here we have a golden chaos. Single layer golden chaos yell cycle. Now this thing goes for around, I couldn't even find a listing for a used golden chaos, but uh, the chaos layer itself, a new chaos layer, the golden one, originally released as a Koro Koro magazine exclusive, and I saw a listing trying to sell it for around 60 bucks. So 60 bucks for a new, just the layer of golden chaos. And we have one right here that's absolutely insane. Now, of course, I couldn't find a listing for Golden Chaos just because it's that rare. So I'm going to say it's around like half of what the inbox version would be. Plus, like we have the parts as well, like the yell and the cycle. So I'm going to say it's around 30 bucks for this Golden Chaos. So yeah, oh my god, I am so happy I got this. Like, Chaos is one of the Beyblades that... I don't really have a mass quantity of, I only have one Chaos in my whole collection. So the fact now that I have a golden one is just absolutely insane and it looks like this one was not even used that much so it's basically like brand new which is awesome. I'm really excited for that and the parts on the Beyblade I don't really care about. I mean yeah it's a cool disc, it was originally like when it first came out I think it was the widest disc ever released, it was humongous but now you compare it to like the wheel disc it's tiny and cycle cycle is never that great but golden chaos that is amazing that is so good actually like so over the moon that we got that Beyblade in this lot all right next up nothing's gonna live up to that golden chaos but next up we have drain fafner you know drain fafner is a pretty good Beyblade as well we have drain fafner six weight this guy goes for around 13 dollars uh, mostly just because the drain fafner layer is just really coveted people love drain fafner and they'll pay like really anything for it I think the Hasbro, like, inbox Drain Fafter literally goes for over a hundred bucks for a Hasbro Switch Strike Drain Fafter. That is absolutely absurd. And you might find some prices for Drain Fafner on the internet for around, like, 10, 13 bucks, but most of those listings are fake. You gotta check the box, see if it's actually Takeratomi. If it doesn't say Takeratomi, then most likely it's fake. So yeah, there's really not many listings for the original Drain Factor, and the ones that are listed usually go for around 50 to 100 bucks for the in-box version. So for the out-of-box version, uh, someone sold it for like around 40 bucks, but I'm gonna say like the Factor I have right here is around 13 bucks. Also, it has some pretty cool metallic stickers on it. So you know what? You let, let's make it 14 bucks for those metallic stickers. Let's add, let's add it. No, I'm just joking. Next, we have the main protagonist of the Chosey series here we have the Achilles. This guy sells for around $15 used. And yeah, nothing really much to say about this guy. Of course, it came with the Extend Driver, which has that really cool gimmick where you can take off like the tip of the driver and replace it with Extend Plus, and it just becomes an instantly better driver. Like, Extend Plus is one of the best drivers at Life After Death. And I just thought it was really cool how you could take like a trash driver like Extend and just make it instantly better. Next, we have one of my favorite Beyblades, Legend Spriggan, Boost Zeta, and it's a red colored boost, which is amazing. This guy sells for around 10 bucks. And honestly, Legend Spriggan, the first dual spin Beyblade, and it's a Spriggan, it's amazing. Also it comes with the Zeta Driver, which released on Spriggan Requiem. So it's kind of a fusion of both Beyblades, which I think is pretty cool. Next, we have another prize bay. Sadly, it's not the original color scheme, but it is still a prize bay. Here we have Jaeger Yggdrasil 6 Gyro. This thing sells for around $10 as well. And I, again, I'm pretty happy to have a Jaeger Yggdrasil. It's pretty cool. And I really like how the driver and the layer are the same color. It's a pretty cool color scheme and Gyro of course originally released on the single layer Yuja Seal but the fact that it's now on the dual layer Yuja Seal is pretty cool. Next we have my man Nightmare Longinus Destroy. One of the best god layers. This guy goes for around 15 bucks. Then we have an amazing recolor of Killer Death Scyther. I love this recolor. It looks so cool. It's blue and red. The scythe is red. It's like bloody scythe. It's amazing. It's actually a killer. This guy goes for around $15. Oh yeah, also the combo on this thing is Triple Unite. And the Unite is kind of gross. Like, <laughs> Look at this Unite. This is the Unite that originally released on Storm Spriggan, and it's supposed to have a white, like, rubber tip, but this one's yellow, which I, I don't really want to know where this thing's been. Next, we have a Psychic Phantom Central Weight. Uh, this one goes for around 10 bucks. Psychic Phantom is a pretty rare Beyblade to find. I think this one also released as a prize fan of 3-on-3 sets. Uh, it's the original color scheme, which is really cool, but sadly, 
it does not come with the original stickers and because of that it looks a little plain but I guarantee you that the normal Psychic Phantom or the original Psychic Phantom with the stickers looks amazing. Finally, we are on to our last Beyblade from this lot. Here we have a Wild Wyvern quarter loop and it's a black wild wyvern which looks absolutely gorgeous now for the combo quarter loop isn't that great this thing sells for around eight dollars which i think that's fair like eight dollars for a wild wyvern quarter loop none of the parts are amazing but i guess none of the parts are horrible so yeah, those were all the Beyblades in the loss, and the value for all the Beyblades is around $243, which is absolutely insane. And if you add in the extra launchers in the lot, the total value is around $271 which again is crazy saying I only paid $80 for this. So are these lots on eBay a scam? I don't think so. Like I think most of the lots are actually just people who just want to sell their Beyblade, just don't want to deal with the hassle of selling Beyblades individually. So if you really wanted to, you could probably make like a profit off these Beyblades or a profit off buying these Beyblade lots on eBay and just selling the Beyblades individually. Now, am I going to be doing that? Probably not. I'm probably just going to be keeping these Beyblades just because I really like like spinning Beyblades. I really like playing with Beyblades and I really like having extras in my collection. So I'll probably just be keeping these Beyblades. Maybe one day I'll probably give them away, but I don't think I'll ever really sell my Beyblades. Anyway, so yeah, are these Beyblade lots a scam? I will say they're definitely not. We made a lot of value from these Beyblade lots. So if you're looking for some Beyblades, but you don't have enough money to buy the newer ones, like what's the difference between a used Beyblade and a newer one? You know what I mean? So I definitely recommend just going on eBay and buying these lots for like 50 to 80 bucks. You get like 20 Beyblades and 20 Beyblades is like a whole entire Beyblade collection. So I definitely think that you get a lot of value out of these random eBay lots. Anyway, so yeah, that was the video of me opening uh, eBay lots. If you guys want to see more videos like this, maybe I'll buy one that's like $500 or $1,000. Leave a like and I might do that in the future. Alright, anyway, I hope the rest of your day goes well. Left first out.